Dr. Mark Winnegar here again with the HTML prep course. And we're on the topic of colors with this screencast. Let's go back to the W3 Schools online book of HTML. I've got it right here. The next chapters after colors are color names and color values. Now they're very simple, or excuse me, very similar. Uh, they're showing you a list of colors, if you will, a color chart. But the sequencing of the colors is different. In color names, we're sequenced alphabetically by color name, with Alice blue at the top, and if we move down to the bottom, yellow green at the bottom. If you go to the next chapter, it's sorted by that hexadecimal number. Remember, with the hexadecimal number, it's a pound sign followed by six hexadecimal digits. The first two digits are the amount of red in the color. The next two, or middle two digits, are the amount of green in the color. And the last two digits are the amount of blue in the color. Red, green, blue, or R, G, B. You may have come across the term RGB monitor. That's what it means. Okay, so here we're sorted by hex value. Zero, or black, is the smallest hexadecimal value that's possible. If you think about it, you should automatically know the highest one from our last screencast. It's white. Okay. Now, I think the color names is a more attractive chart. Otherwise, they simply are exactly the same layout, the same functionality. I'm going to go back to color names because it just kind of mixes things up uh, in a more pleasant sequence, at least for my eye. And now, you know, I'm from the shore of Lake Michigan. So I want to take a look at this aqua marine. And I'm going to click on the color name. Let's see what happens. Okay, so now I get another safari window and I'm looking at an aqua marine background and I've got a listing of colors. This gives me an idea of the contrast or how well the colors go together. So for instance, the first one there, acid blue, you can't hardly read. Then we've got antique white. It's still not a good contrast. But the next two are even worse. My goodness, great. Let me increase the size there a little bit. I can't even read. But if I get down to dark colors, like black, I've got a good contrast, and I can read. So if I wanted to have, say, an aquamarine background, I want to leave my text possibly black. Or I could go with blue. Blue, eh, it shows up, but it, I don't know. It, to me, it's not a pleasant combination. The brown, to me, looks almost red, dark red. But I don't like that. And you can just kind of go through and blend your colors. Now another, oh, that fire brick right here is kind of nice. Now, also, if you take a look at this chart, not only do we have the color name, it gives us the hexadecimal value of the color, and it gives us the number under RGB, in base 10 or decimal. So it's 240 units of 
red to get acid blue, 240 units of red, 248 of green, and 255 of blue. Remember, the higher the number, the lighter the color. Okay, let's click on, for our aqua, the hex value. Let's see what we get. Okay, the same kind of chart. What if I go to Aquamarine and click on the shades? Okay, now I have different shades of Aquamarine. Now, if you want to get a pleasant look, you might take shades of a color and use perhaps the lighter shades for your background colors and the darker shades as your text colors. You can play around with that, then you can get some very nice looking websites that way. Okay, so let's go back. We're back on the Aqua Marine. Let's choose the mix option. Okay. And so here we have different mixes. Ranging from white to aquamarine, the color we selected. And so we can simply get that color and see different intensities of it. And notice these colors change. Now if I want, I could just type in color directly into this and now I'm looking at the variation from white to black. So in other words it's another way of looking at shades of gray. So that's how you would use the W3 Schools color charts. Play around with it. Find some colors that you like because soon we're going to be changing the colors of our web pages to give them a nice personal feel.